So what's good video pros? Today we're gonna talk about lenses. As you can see, I got a lot going on in this table, so I gotta run through this real quick. So what does these letters and numbers mean? It can be a little confusing. No worries, I got you covered. From explaining focal lengths to sharing tips on lens maintenance, this video will answer those tricky questions and help you choose the perfect lens for photography or videography. Click to watch and boost your lens knowledge today. This tutorial is for Canon lenses, but most of this information is standard across different manufacturers. Let's jump into it. You might be picking up a lens and you're wondering what are all these numbers? For instance, you might see uh, 67 millimeters. So you're wondering, is this a 67 millimeter lens? No, it's actually the size of your front lens. So you know what size cap to purchase and you also know what size filter you need. All right, so as you can see, it says Canon zoom lens. That means you're able to zoom out. For instance, this is a 10 to 18 millimeter. This is my wide angle lens and I'm able to zoom in and zoom out up to about 18 millimeters. Moving on, you may also see letters like EF. Now EF stands for uh, electronic focus and Canon has quite a few lenses on the market to date. So um, EFs are great. Um, there's a lot of them out there, different sizes, uh, different quality of glass. We won't get into all that as well. But back to this, we have some other numbers. Okay, so one colon four dot five dash five point six. What does these numbers mean? Well, it's basically your maximum and minimum aperture. How wide your eye can open and how narrow it can close to. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Now, when you do use the lower aperture, this is how you get your depth of field. So if you place the subject at the right distance and you focus in on that subject, that lens will focus in on just that person or that object and everything in the back should fall out of focus. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so you also might see things like SM or STM. So. The typical meaning of an STM is basically it's just a smoother uh, motor, um, you know, so you don't hear all that uh, 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 as it's focusing. This is good. And whenever possible, if you see the STM, it's a good thing. You might see another one that says USM. I believe that's ultrasonic uh, motor. Um, but again, I'm just going off the top. So now the ultrasonic lens is much faster than the STM lens. So if you ask me which one were better, um, both are good, but I would go with the USM versus the STM. Keep that in mind. And if you're paying for the ultrasonic lens or motor, the SCM motor, you're gonna spend more bucks. So if you have it, grab it. You know, if you see it, grab it. So that explains basically what those numbers are and letters on your lens. But let's talk about another lens here. This is a prime lens. Now, when we say prime, it's a fixed lens. It's not like a zoom lens where you can zoom in and zoom out. You have to actually physically move your body and camera closer to a subject in order to, you know, get a medium shot, get a close up shot, but these are great for photography. A lot of photographers definitely have their 50 millimeter in their bag. But as I mentioned, if you needed to zoom out some, you can. Now they're good because the numbers on this one is a 1.8 STM again. So it's another good lens. Um, and I can drop down to about 1.8 F-stop. And I can open up pretty wide to let in more light. And this is good for nighttime photography as well or nighttime you know, videography as well. So keep those in mind. Get yourself a prime lens. Now, let's talk about basic lenses. And I have one here. And this is a 18 
to 55. 18 to 55. Right? And on the side, you see this button, which is stabilization, or stabilizer. You can turn it on and off. And then you see AF and MF. That means it's an automatic focus lens or manual focus lens. Both of those features are great. Um, and again, this was a kit lens that came with my Canon uh, Rebel. I believe it was a T3i. And it was just standard. But 18 millimeter to 55 is pretty good. You can get a nice wide shot and then you can zoom in. So this was a good kit lens, you know. So if that's all you have to work with, you're in good shape. All right, so moving on. Standard lenses are good. Now, let's move on over to, because I'm now shooting with my Canon M50, uh, which is a mirrorless camera. Um, but I was able to bring along all my other lenses, because again, there are a lot of lenses out there and I purchased a lot under EF mount. But when I got the M50, the mount on the back of this is a lot smaller. Then let's say, place this down for a second. Then this, right? So if I wanted to use, let's say this, lens and that's a little dirty too as well like i said on the light you can see it all but make sure you get you some cleaning stuff and clean off your lenses man and it make the difference you know one little black dot in the middle of an image i mean nowadays it's a little easier to kind of clean things up but even then if you're doing video it's going to be a lot of work to remove so just make sure your lenses are as clean as possible you know if you got bright light get underneath the light you know, brush things off. But my old EF lenses, I would have to grab a adapter like this. Now, as you can see, it has a proper size, smaller size, and then it has the bigger opening here. And also you see, we can actually see the electronics in there, which work really well. You definitely want to grab one of those if you do get the M50 so you can use your old lenses. So you know, some of them actually work great and then other ones uh, don't have the full features or uh, I'm going to have to pause. Looking at Maguchi, it's about that time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a part two uh, camera lenses simplified part two. Uh, I've been posting videos on Tuesdays, uh, so I hope to continue that schedule, but um, just hit the subscribe button and notification button. You'll be sure not to miss it. Um, and we got a lot to go over, y'all. We're going to talk more about the EFM lenses. Um, we're going to talk about the adapter a little bit more. Uh, and then we need to talk about this red ring and what it means to have a red ring around your lens. So I'm into here. Remember to capture those moments and do the best with what you have. Until next video, y'all. Peace.